Kipo. This is Daily Bread Scripture. It's a mishmash of scriptures all relating to the same thing. 2 Corinthians 1, verse 20. For every one of God's promises is yes in him. Therefore, the amen is also spoken through him by us for God's glory. Philippians 4, 12 through 13. I know both how to have a little and I know how to have a lot. In any and all circumstances, I have learned the secret of being content, whether well-fed or hungry, whether in abundance or in need. I am able to do all things through him who strengthens me. Psalm 139, 16. Your eyes saw me when I was formless. All my days were written in your book and planned before a single one of them began. Numbers 13, 30. Then Caleb quieted the people in the presence of Moses and said, We must go up and take possession of the land because we certainly can conquer it. Romans 8.37 says, No, in all these things we are more than victorious through him who loved us. Mark 9.23 Then Jesus said to him, If you can, everything is possible to the one who believes. Deuteronomy 28.13 The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You only move upward and never downward if you listen to the Lord, your God's commands I am giving you today and are careful to follow them. 1 John 5, 3 through 5. For this is what the love for God is. To keep his commands. Now his commands are not burdensome because whatever has been born of God conquers the world. This is the victory that has conquered the world, our faith. And who is the one who conquers the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Hallelujah and amen. What a beautiful gift. Father God sent down his Son, Lord Yeshua, to be born and to live and to die for us so that we could live completely free as more than victorious over everything in this world. He already finished. He already conquered it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He loves you. I love you. God bless you and keep you in Jesus name. Bye guys.